Oh, you told oh, I'm about to beat me. Oh, <laughs> my life. Hey beautiful people, it's Success Mentor Dante J. Worth, and I'm back with another video right here on Audacious Believer TV! Woo! Now, if this is your first time tuning in, I need you to make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you like this video. Mm-hmm. And make sure that you are commenting down below. Me and my team absolutely love to read your comments. Now, tonight, we're being joined by the beautiful, the fabulous, the one, the only. Tell them who you are, darling. I'm Shonda Leslie Smith. <laughs> I invited her here tonight to talk about the power of women. I don't know why I had to say it like that. That's yeah. The power of women. We are powerful. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is true. So before I talk about that, what is your story? Oh, man. Um, it is multidimensional. Um, I was born and raised in the city of Rochester. Nice. Um, oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> love this city. Very committed to the city. Still reside in the city of Rochester. As a young girl, I gave um, birth really early at the age of 14. Um, and since that time, I've been discovering my purpose and who I am connected to and who I'm purposed to be on this earth. Yes. And so I feel like um, God has really exposed that I have a message for women. And so I'm always excited to pour into the lives of women and to encourage them because I've been down and I've been up and I really want to help women to understand how they can push themselves forward. That's good. That's really good. So for you, how do you go from that place of being in... Not knowing exactly where to go with my life, like you know, a lot of people struggle finding their purpose. What do yeah. I? Why am I here? That's yeah, the big question. Yeah. Why am I here? So, how do you yeah. answer that question? Well, for me, it's completely deep rooted in my faith. Nice. Um, I also feel like women, any person really, mm -hmm. if you find the things that you would do for free, mm -hmm. what is it that you love? What inspires That's you? An aha moment. That's what good. makes you feel real good on the inside? Mm -hmm. The other clue is, what is the thing when you are most tired, mm -hmm. you would still get up and do, and mm -hmm. it would energize you? you're called to yes. do what's your purpose to do yes that is good so who inspires you there are so many people that inspires me um Certainly, um, my faith uh, yeah. inspires me, and, and all of the people in the Bible. Um, there are so many folks. Junia is a woman in the Bible. She was one of the first apostles in the Bible, so she inspires me. Um, and I'm inspired by people like Leslie Meyer. Yes. I'm inspired yes. by <laughs> Fata Marie. Yes. I'm inspired by so many sisters out there. All these audacious believers. Yes. I love it. Yes, they are fabulous. Um, yes. So there's no limit to who you can receive inspiration from yeah. um, if you open up a magazine you look on TV or you just go into your church every day mm -hmm. um, or on Sundays hopefully not every day because that's a little too much <laughs> um, <laughs> you know some of us grew up like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that, Thursday, Friday, Saturday listen that was my life I'm like we, we're here again again good lord we're going to our church okay oh, okay <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what does it mean to be a powerful woman like what does that mean yeah I think we find power in some of the the smallest things okay. because I, you know what I what I help hope women understand is that there isn't one um, place that you you don't have to be at the top in order to be powerful yeah. if you are caring for your children mm. or even someone else's children if you are not uh, have haven't physically given birth to someone but yeah. you have the opportunity to speak into someone else's life mm -hmm. that's powerful that is powerful that's powerful it's impactful it's what we need there are so many kids out there um, who need someone to just care for them mm -hmm. to show them love um, but you could also be powerful by starting your own business I um, work in the nonprofit arena, I often find myself as not only the only African American at the table, but oftentimes I find myself as the only woman at the table. And so I think that's a powerful thing mm. to be there, but not just to be there, but to open up the door and make sure that other people yes. come behind me. Yes. Both people of color, black and brown people, specifically for me, but also other women. Yes. And so it's my uh, common practice to be grooming people mm. to come behind me, to make sure that I, as the gatekeeper, yes. I don't stand in the door and block it, yeah. but I open it and, and lift people as I climb. That's good. I think my Angelo said, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. There you she go. got all the incest inside of it. Just come with it. So that's yes. good. So what advice would you give to someone who feels powerless? Mm. 
That's a good question. I think um, for one, they have to begin to um, speak life into themselves. Mm -hmm. I believe that there is true power in the tongue, yes. that we form our future by yes. every single thing that we speak. Mm -hmm. And there are days, you know, I, I, you know, I think that women, people in general, they will look at, like, look at people like us yes. and they would say, oh, <laughs> you're on all the time. Look at you, you're that audacious believer. But sometimes we turn off. That's but sometimes we turn off. off. I have to throw the clap away. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Throw the whole thing away. Okay? Absolutely. Yes. But then you have to begin speaking what you don't actually feel. Mm -hmm. Until you feel it. Declare and decree it. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is good. So, ready for rapid fire questions? Sure. I need my clapping for this one. Rapid fire <laughs> Favorite book. My favorite book is Fervent. Ooh, Priscilla Shire. Come on, Priscilla Shire. Yeah, I use one. Uh, favorite movie? Oh, this is a hard one. Probably um, Color Purple. Ooh, you told her to beat me. <laughs> That's all my life. All my life. All my life. Okay. What do you believe the biggest, biggest obstacle to peace is? The biggest obstacle to peace, my God, I think it's power and control. Ooh, that's good, that's good. And to be audacious means to be? To be audacious means to be yourself. Yeah! Yes, authentic. I say it again for the people in the cheap seats. They back there. Yeah, authentic. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. So you have a great event coming up. Tell the people about what's coming up. Yes. Um, pretty soon we have coming up the Epic Women's Conference. I'm so excited. We need the clapper for that. September 29th is going to be at the Hilton Garden Inn yes. in Rochester, New York, yes. in College Town. We're so excited. We have hundreds of women that are coming from all around, Ooh. and they will get to experience 12 dynamic workshops. 12. Talk by powerful women. 12. Powerful women, and yes. there will be an opening speak and a closing keynote done none, by none other than yours truly. I got a keynote in my <laughs> So I'm excited about That's it. Awesome. I'm excited. How can they register? How can they learn? So if they'd like to register, if all of you out there would like to register, there are only a few seats, so I encourage you to do so quickly. Right you have to take advantage of the opportunity within the lifetime of the opportunity. Yes. And so you go to LashundaLeslieSmith.com okay. backslash epic, E-P-I-C. Yes. Tickets are only $35, which is a very small, a small investment to, to make into yourself. The of your life. Absolutely. To invest in yourself. Absolutely. That's good. That's good. So thank you so much for having us. So until next time, well, for having me, let me have you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> until next time, remember that life is meant to be enjoyed and not just endured. How do you do that? Thank you so much. Thank You're you. So